guys, it's me again, Becky, and welcome back to my vlogs. Today is Father's Day, so I'm going out for a Father's Day brunch with a really, really cute dress on, and of course, my styled hair, and I'm, I have my little big makeup bag right here, and I'm going to get ready, so I figured why not just do um, a time lapse of that, so yeah. Okay guys, I think I'd be doing a little bit of voiceover for this, so I just applied my blush, and now I am choosing which eyeshadow I should use. I ended up choosing the pink and icy blue eyeshadow. So I'm applying the pink one right now. And I soon decide that the icy blue shadow is more dominant and easier seen than the pink one. So I just ended up going with a nice icy blue eye instead of trying to overcomplicate it. Now I'm just adding some chapstick. I put in my hair up, but then I'm like, nah, bruh. So yeah. Okay, hey guys. So this is basically the finished product. Hmm. Only my hair will get stuck and caught in my dress. This is the finished part. I got an icy blue eyeshadow with a little bit of pink in the, in the corners. I just basically have a little bit of blush and then I just chapstick my lips up. It's a much more natural look, but since it's Father's Day, I figured this would be very appropriate. So, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in the next segment. Okay, hey guys, sorry. When doing the makeup, I Literally, I'm so sorry. I forgot to put mascara on. So, I'm going to do another time lapse of just putting my mascara on because I do it a different way. Like, I, everyone has their own techniques. So, yeah, one more time. Okay, guys, so right here, I'm basically just applying mascara. Nothing special. Yeah, just, I don't know what else to say. This is just me applying my mascara. Okay, hey, guys, I'm finally done. So, I think just, I did a little bit with my hair. I kind of just closed a little bit more. Made it a little bit nicer, you know what I mean? I really don't know what I'm gonna do, a side bang or like one big side bang. But I, I, I typically like to do it down the middle because that looks better for me. Anyways, so I redid my eyes and I redid my hair and yeah, it's gonna be my look for today. So I basically have just a nice um, makeup do, you guys can see this. Kind of simple, classy, nothing too much. And then I have a really, really nice, pretty, flowy dress, if you guys can say. So, yeah. Happy Father's Day, and I'll check with you guys back when I'm back from the brunch. Okay, hey guys. So I basically just got back from having my Father's Day brunch, and we went shopping, and we got a few things. So, I have the bags here with me that I have, and I have a surprise present at the end of the video. So, I'll show you guys what that is. So, basically, we went to Bath and Body Works and Bloomingdale's. So, I really want, I think I'm going to start with, actually, the Bloomingdale's, because there are some things that I think that I really need to clear up, as you guys can see from all of my face. Okay, so... First thing for first things first, let me show you. I have I have an exfoliating scrub. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's I got all this from Chic. Um, it's an exfoliating scrub for my face, so that way I can have better treatments. Then I have an acne solution, so that way I don't have so that I'm basically just putting my acne and all my dots on my face down. Then I have a brand new facial soap. It's basically just um, instead of their cream based soap sorry instead of my cream based soap it is a um now it's a um liquid based soap from the same place because i love this company okay. and then i have um i have a moisturizing cert this is just like a moisture something that'll help me moisturize my face and make sure that it's healthy and that after i i um unapply makeup like i just did i my face will still be moisturized and then basically this is just a smaller version of the moisturizing thing so that way I can have travel with travel have it with me when I travel. Oh okay. So next up this is kinda like the last thing in the bag. We have the goodies. So I got two bags as you guys can see right here because I love them so much. So let's just look in because these kind of feel a bit different. So Let's see what's in each of them. So in this one, no, actually let's go in this one. In this one, I feel basically just one big bag. Because that one, I feel more. 
could just be me trying to speculate or whatever, but okay. Ooh, okay, so basically I just get like the, the typical makeup bag. It's actually, oops, it's actually really pretty and nice and big bag that I can use to carry my makeup in like when I'm traveling or something like that. Let me compare it to one of my previous ones. This one's a bit bigger. You guys can see, it's only, only about a little bit though. It's inside coverage is quite nice. It isn't quite the nice linen, like the nice lining that's in this one. And it isn't quite the nice texture, but I still quite like it. And then we can also compare it to my other makeup bag that I carried in on vacation. This one's much longer, but while well, that well, this one's much more square. So that's cool. I like the bag, that's the same for both bags. It's the same bag each time. Just we got a big bag of goodies. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I'm gonna rip it open. I haven't even I didn't even buy all this. This is just kind of, you know, how it's in the bag and all that stuff. Okay. So the first thing I got is... Oh, I got a high-impact mascara. Let's see how this looks. Quite nice. The butt, if you guys can see this, the bristles are quite thin and all that stuff. So this should apply, like, I guess much finer and thinner so you guys can actually see it. That'll be really cool. Now I have a makeup remover. Sweet. I can always use some extra makeup remover. Not gonna hate on that. Ooh, ooh, oh wow. And I have a pretty lipstick, guys. Nice and pretty lipstick. That's actually a really nice color. It's like a kind of shimmery goldish color, if you guys can see that. Then we might not be able to. So basically, kind of, right now we basically have a lot of um, makeup items and just a lot of things. Not necessarily face wash, just more. This is, right, so right now, what they're giving me is more just cleansing and all that stuff. Let me just scoot you guys back so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. I also have that. And then I also have dramatically different moisturizing lotion. So that's always helpful. I always like lotions and I always like having extra moisturizer and, you know, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Also, I changed out and I moved all my makeup. So, yeah. This would have been handy. Make sure it's closed. And then I also, oh, I also have another foaming face up here. This is what I wanted to show you. This is a more cream-based facial soap, while as this one is a liquid-based soap. I personally like these more, but this will be a good one to travel with. Like, I'm never going to be angry with travel face soap, you know. How can you? Okay. So that's the first bag. Just a nice little treat inside. Let's see. Let's see if, let's show it Now, let's go see if I have, if the other bag is any different. So this is the other bag. I think it might be this, yeah, just kind of the same premises. It has the, the eyeliner, the face wash, the makeup remover, the lotion, and then the lipstick. So that's really handy to have doubles of everything. Like, again, I'm not gonna really be angry with free stuff and, you know, how can you be angry with free stuff? So the face wash, and then the makeup. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just wondering if this lipstick is any different. Nope, it's the same. Still, like, how can I be angry? So basically now I have two of the same bags. Sweet! This is super cool. Like, the free, like, how, how, how can you, really, how can you really be mad at literal freaking free samples like come on now come on so basically if we take a look over here where all my stuff is oops we have this is the chic all the samples and then all my regular stuff so yeah let's move on to the next bag okay hey guys so now we're gonna get on to the bath and body work stuff okay so i think that we should start off with body um, shower, shower gel or whatever you want to call it with um, um, body wash is what I call it at least so I, I got two different scents I got the Ju Jupiter Breeze and I have got the Pear Blossom now I really do like these two smells and if I choose the best one it'd probably be Jupiter um, Juniper Breeze sorry guys can't speak today I love both of these I love all Bath and I love Bath and Body Works like some of their scents are a little bit questionable to me, but I still like almost all of their stuff. Like Bath and Body Works rules. Please sponsor me. 
Anyways, next up, okay. Next up, we have hand soaps. Now, these two hand soaps are amazing. Like, literally freaking amazeballs. Okay, let's start with this one. This one's fresh lemonade. It smells so fresh and so good. Like, it literally just makes you feel like you're, t like, when you smell it, it literally just makes you feel like you're actually s drinking lemonade. Like, I literally went to Starbucks and bought a lemonade after smelling this at first. Like, it just smells so freaking good. Like, how am I supposed to resist? It also has these little beads in it. It's kind of like a deep cleansing soap. If you guys can see, little beads in it all up there. Okay, and then next, this is like the OP hand wash. This is Water Lily and, and Lilac. Lilac, whatever, doesn't matter. I don't care how to pronounce it. This smells so freaking... It's... This freaking thing smells like happiness itself. Like, this... This is like the best freaking thing. Like, I don't care if you disagree with me, but I actually really do, because then, fuck you. Just kidding. <laughs> but this smells so good, and I love how thick it is. Like, it's thick without being too thick. You know what I mean? Okay. Next up, we have exfoliant. This is a sugar scrubber exfoliant, because I have very, very dry skin, but also very, very sensitive skin. It is called the Refreshing Citrus Body Scrub, and it is it smells, it smells good, and it works great. Um, so that's, I just, I'm sorry, I, I literally just, I, I love every, I love most things back and back. Like, some of this smells like cinnamon, like, I just don't like cinnamon, because it, like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just don't like cinnamon. But, um, yeah, I just love Bath and Body Works. Okay, so now let's get on to the Purells. I love Purell. So first, I got a little bag for the Purell. It says, hello. It's such, it's so cute. Literally, you just open it up and you stick a Purell in there. Let me take all this out. Yeah. Literally, I can just open this up. And I just plop the Purell in there. Bam. Close it up. Let's go. Like, isn't that so cute? I could put it on, like, little bag. Like, you put it on your book bag because, like, of this thing opposed to just the typ typical um, beads. Which brings me to the next thing I have. Which brings me to the next um, hand sanitizer holder I have. I have the little stereotypical one with, like, this one, this one kind of reminds me of, like, sandals and water sandals. I don't know why. I just really like it. But it also has the stereotypical, not the stereotypical, but the typical um, um, little hoop thing that you can wrap around like little things opposed to this one where it's more meant for I guess backpacks. So here, th those are two hand sanitizer holders I have. Let me put them over here. Okay, now I have got, how many do I have? Six different um, hand sanitizers, okay? Let me pop you guys up so you can see them more. I'm not able to read them yet but they still are all amazing. Okay. Perfection. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start from this end to this way. I have the Stress Relief um, Eucalyptus Tea one. Like, I just love the Stress Relief things. Like, I got it, like, I just love them. Like. They're just like, bay, like, hashtag stress relief. Like, am I, for me, this isn't just stress relief. I just really just love the smell of them because they're very, like, calming and it's not just, like, in your face. Next, we have the watermelon lemonade. Again, me going with the, <laughs> me going with the kind of trend of the lemonade type thing. So, that's what this is. This is kind of like a sweeter lemonade opposed to just, like, the more citrusy one or, like, the sour one, I guess you could say. Next up, we have No Shade. Some of these, just their title alone made them made me buy them, but then the smell just helped it even more. No Shade, it just smells really good. Like, this basically just kind of, it almost smells like a cantaloupe in a way. I don't know. That, that's what it almost smells like. It just, to me, it just smells like a cantaloupe. That's just like a type of melon, if you guys don't know. Okay, I'm going to get to you later. Next up, we have... If we skip that one next up we have gold digger um this one i don't know how to explain it this one just smells like very refreshing like it almost smells like 
I wouldn't describe it as like necessarily the sea, but like it just smells very like, yeah, I don't really know, sorry, it just smells very refreshing. Like it just kind of makes your nose just, just kind of gives you more energy, if you know what I mean. Ne and then next up, we have um, Gardenia Sp and Spring Rain. Again, this one just kind of, this one really just, just smells like, like not black, bad plants, but like a really, really nice smelling flower. That's what this, this one just smells like a flower. Now this one. This little gem right here. If you guys can't tell, let me just put it up. It has mermaids on it. Do you see the tail? I'm like obsessed with mermaids. So like, this is already perfect. And it's called Mermazing. Like, how do you expect me not to buy this? Like, actually though, life. Like, this is, this is goals. It smells so good. Like, it basically just smells like, it smells like the sea and like, rose. It smells like the sea and roses. Like, I, I'm not even joking. This is, like, the best smelling thing I've ever smelled. I would have gotten all of them, but, like, I just like having the assortment. So, that's what I got. That was my haul from Bath & Body Works. Because, you know, always got to get those things. Yeah, this one's totally going in the front. But, like, yeah, I kind of just wanted to show you guys all the things that I bought from all my different stores. Because, like... So anyways, let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is my Bath and Body Works haul right up in the front. Thing that I just showed you guys. And then behind it is the chic, all the chic stuff. So, yeah. surprise present is going to be coming soon i'm literally tracking it on amazon i'd love to show you guys the camera or like my computer screen but i can't because that means i'd be giving it away so i guess we'll just i guess we'll just have to wait till it gets here see you guys then okay guys exciting news my special gift finally arrived and it is drum roll please A microphone. Now, this isn't just for but um, purposes right now. It's also for many projects. So, let's crack this baby open and see if we can do anything with them. Okay. So, it's actually quite an easy removal. I just kind of have to flip up these little tabs all around the side. You guys can see this. The back feet do that quite easily. It's quite nice. It looks quite pretty. Anyways. Okay, so now we have a user manual. Yeah, we'll just look at that if we can't find it. Okay. Wow, okay. So this has a little tripod. A little microphone. Oh, great. Okay, no, yay. Easy removal. Then we have the microphone that'll just freaking slip right in. For the purposes of speaking and all that stuff. And ooh, quite look 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 at the range of this bad boy. Then I can also just take it out. Sorry, you know, references. Okay, anyways, then we have the actual, uh, oops, have the actual cord. Throw you all out later. Okay, so now we have this. Oh, then we have um, connector, which will then connect into this. Sweet. Okay. I'm gonna go get, yeah. Let's go try this thing out. Okay, so I'm gonna move you up here. If you'll still be able to see me. Sweet, okay. So now I have my computer open. I'm going to go to my app. Let's go to my science project. Science project. 
Okay. Have my little stand. Take that out. Have this bad boy. Plug it into my thing right here. Okay, can you gonna open? No, let's put let's put it into this one. So oh, this is vlog day two. Okay. Well how about let us let us see. I don't love you. Let's see how this sounds. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is my test for the new microphone on my vlog day two. Oh, there's headphones. Okay, so now I see what I have to do. So I have to plug this bad boy in. Plug this one in. It has a microphone. Plug this one in. Okay, so let's put this all the way back to the beginning. Okay, hey guys, I figured instead of me, you know, FaceTime with all my friends, I figured why not show you guys how everything sounds with the new microphone. So in fact, I'm filming this segment with the microphone. I figured this would be a better way to show you guys how it actually sounds opposed to my crummy um, audio from my computer anyway. So I figured that you guys would be able to hear it firsthand off of your own device. So yeah. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and come back tomorrow for hopefully a new video. Um, I hope you guys like and subscribe if you like my new microphone and all the things I got today. And see you guys later. Peace.